To the real. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Chris Spatola. Yeah. So Chris Spatola is or was he was a um coach for Duke, right? He played uh, at West Point. Yes. Um, I was looking at Yes, he was a member of Duke's basketball coaching staff from 07 to 2012. Right, and then he started Ray working with ESPN. won four tournament titles and Ooh. a national championship. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. He, he had the credentials. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I would think so, yes. Um, yeah. But in this time, he's been, uh, he's been with ESPN. Yes, he's an analyst for the basketball, for the radio. And a host, he hosts a show on Sirius XM, too. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, in in looking at um, just some of like the content that he's had and that he's put out, um, I think he does a very good job of one. Just in uh, he did a, a podcast or kind of a show where he was breaking mm-hmm. down um, college basketball. I think he does a really good job of breaking it down for like the layperson, someone who doesn't know like the yeah. details. Of like the we try to do on this show, not talk right. so over people's heads about, yeah. yeah, like don't, don't tell me you, you were in a, a zone defense. I don't know what that is. What is, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Can you tell me what that means now, please? Yeah. <laughs> or if we talk about football, you know, they were, they were in three, four defense. They were, wait, wait, they was in a wing. T- what is that? Yeah. Talk, talk English <laughs> So yeah, <laughs> but yeah. So, so yeah. Go. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. I'm just looking at stuff on him. Like he was amazing. He is amazing. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, the fact that you went to West Point. Right. Let's start there. <laughs> Before we talk about anything else, let's Cause, start cause... there. You were a four-year starter, uh, basketball starter for for West Point. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. With a degree in English and a minor in environmental engineering. Excuse you. How do you minor in engineering? I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> Where did you get that? <laughs> Man. So, yeah, he was an Army officer. He was commissioned as an Army officer. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Um, assistant grad, grad, assistant coach with the Army's men's basketball team until he went to work for with um, Coach K. Um. Just all around, yeah, he's always seemed to have excelled. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, always seems to have excelled. Um, I just thought it was cool that he also is big with USA basketball. Yes. Like, he's coached the national team uh, that won a goal in 08. He was a part of that that coaching team. Was it – now, does he coach the – um. Oh yes. Okay. He was coaching with Coach K. Mm-hmm. Okay. I because I was thinking about you know like the junior. Uh, yeah, NBA. like one of my one of my one of my um my former classmates and I I call him friend. Uh, that's a coach there in Atlanta. He coaches for the USA Junior Team. Okay. Yeah, yeah. but no, he actually like they won the gold in, in two thousand eight. Right. Yes, in Beijing. Mm-hmm. I, I remember that team. I remember. I think that was the uh, that was that team where it was Kobe, LeBron. Mm, uh, yeah, um, I mean, whenever they not had a dream team, I they still call them the dream team from back in the day with my. Right. But when have they not had a dream team? Two thousand four. <laughs> I don't remember one of those. Team. It was one of those years where they where they went and lost. Really? Because they started calling themselves the Redeem Team because, like, they didn't win the gold. Yeah. I'm trying to remember what team that was that won the gold. Mm. It was Argentina or Spain. I'd have to look mm. that up, but 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so it says now Spatola um, serves as the director of Mike Krzyzewski's, uh basketball camp, serves mm-hmm. on the board of the Caring House, which is a nonprofit boarding home here in North Carolina um, for cancer patients and their caregivers. Oh, wow. Yeah. I love it. Like, this dude is... Right. Again, when we do Onto the Real, we always are looking for people who... Um, are more understand they're more than the sport right and despite the fact that he's still been involved in the sport he's found ways to um make himself um visible in other ways he's used the right. platforms and that's always what we're talking about using right. the brand um and you know use what you have in order to be able to help somebody else or do what you do because you love it and somebody else is appreciating it you know what i mean right. so yeah, so kudos to you, sir. <laughs> yes. Wow. Yeah. On to the real spotlight. Yeah. Um, feel good final thought. Okay, you brought this one, so you talk about it. Yeah. I so yeah. Um I feel good I had final to go thought. Look him up. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> you know, it, it's funny too, when when I found him because you know, we were uh <laughs> it was <laughs> it's been rough finding yeah. feel good final thoughts. But, well, um, it hasn't, but it would be the same thing over and over again. Because right now, honestly, so many of these sports stars have stepped up to the plate, but it's all around yeah. coronavirus, pretty much. So finding something that didn't listen, we didn't listen. I hate. I even said it because I really didn't want to talk about it at all this week because it's inundating the news. So I just like don't even want to talk right. about it. That's yeah. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> keep this in the middle. But it, yes. it, it it's going to affect you know. Um, the way we do this show because things aren't happening how they typically would. Yeah. But so Marcus Rashford, um, and we've talked about during our, our feel good final thought, we've talked about NBA players and owners over here in the U S who stepped up and who have pledged to give funds to donate their time and resources to help affect um, the folks who are um, on the front lines on, on yeah. the front lines and but <clears throat> I think this would be the first time we we use somebody who's across the pond right <laughs> across the pond. Yes. and Marcus Rashford is a, a, a footballer for uh, Manchester United He's 22 and years we old. We say that that's soccer, y'all. Just yeah. so you know. <laughs> he's not a footballer. Not, not football not Americano. A, that's not a USA footballer. <laughs> that's, that's a soccer player. <laughs> well, he's a 22 year old uh, player who's committed himself to um, the charity Fair Share. Mm-hmm. And when he found out that schools were going to be closing, he found he he understood that there were going to be over 600,000 <laughs> children who wouldn't be able to eat. So this young man raised over 20 million pounds to help feed wow. um, the kids who would be affected by this, who I would be it. missing meals because they wouldn't be able to go to school. I love it. I yeah. love it. He's just a giving heart because yeah. in reading about him, like even last year, at the end of last year, I think it was, it could have mm-hmm. been year before, but I can't remember. I know it was in December where he was like, he, um, teamed up to make sure that homeless kids Mm -hmm. had, you know, um, what they needed. Um, And so, like, you know, what does it say? It says gloves, hand warmers, hats, deodorant, thermals, toothpaste, Mm -hmm. uh, torches, whatever they could give them in order to make sure that they were um, taken care of. And so he's just got a big heart. And that's amazing. I love that he... He was proactive. He used his platform. Everything is everything is yeah. just right about what he did. You know what I mean? Right. He was, yeah, you didn't wait. You were like, nope, let's get this started right now. I know what's coming, so let's get it started. And and I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, big time. So I'm, you know, good good stuff, Mr. Rashford. Good yes. stuff. Especially to be so young. Yeah, you know, 22. Most of the right. time, young people are self-consumed, honestly. Right. Let's just be real. And so for him to think in these terms, he probably, I don't know his background, but 
sounds like somebody who grew up in a household with people who were probably just taking care of people all the time anyway. Yeah. And that's just his natural, just who he is. Right. And so, yeah, but good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we forgot to do this last week. Yeah. But we are back with it. Um, this week. <laughs> and yeah. we have our show mm-hmm. picks or movie picks. Yeah. Or whatever yeah. we've been watching that we think that you guys <laughs> would really enjoy. Yeah. And so, Stephanie, what you got this week? Okay, so I got two. Two. Hold okay. on. I know. I do this to you all the time, right? <laughs> it's, it's okay. <laughs> I, I do it all the time. I'm trying to find out the, the official name of the other one I watched. So, um, it's funny because, remember, we were talking yesterday and I said, I love cars, right? Mm-hmm. And so why can't I find the name of this show? It's just because I want it right now. Um, oh, but um, yeah, it, uh, it consumed me yesterday. Okay. Literally, I watched almost two seasons of this show yesterday. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Master Mechanics on Netflix. Okay. Listen, y'all. So they take these rust bucket, horrible looking things Mm -hmm. and they obviously restore them. Some resto mod, mostly not. Um, They do their own little, I think their shop is called Gotham Garage. So they Mm -hmm. do their own little twist to what, you know, what it looks like. Right. And why it was fascinating me is they have this business model most of the shows, because like I watch a lot of the shows, Bitch and Rides, and all this stuff that mm-hmm. comes on, McCann, but unlike most of those shows where they flip the car or they're doing it for somebody, yeah. you know, most of the time it's a client that wants a car done or we buy it, we fix it up, and we sell it. That's not how their business model works. Right. They literally buy a car, fix it, and trade it to get another car that will be worth more money because their oh, wow. end game at every, at every stop is to increase their to amount. Upsell. So they get the six figure. Okay. So they get That's to smart. that six figure car that they're yeah. going to sell. So it has just been fascinating watching that and that business model just kind of go so that's one it, it, you get to see some really cool cars. Now I'm not a fan of all of the, stuff they do to the cars but nonetheless it's really cool watching them transform them and then the characters are funny it's not like pin my ride is it it is uh, (laughs) listen all i'm gonna tell you is this dude asked them to do a a 71 pinto Mm -hmm. and he wanted it to become he wanted it. He wanted them to make it an electric drag race car. Oh wow! When I tell you that thing got out and was so his whole thing was if you can do it and you can make this car under nine seconds on the track, mm-hmm. I'll buy it. It came in at seven point six. Oh wow! Yeah, I I can't even fathom that concept though. Yeah, an electric. I mean. An uh, electric drag race. Drag it, racing it was, car. It was just. It was so cool. I mean, they even put some paint, some pinstripe paint on the on the Pinto that was uh, that lit up. The paint lights up. Okay. Oh wow! I'm telling you, like this show is so. Yeah. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay. This is amazing. But yeah, so that and. Um, David Arnold, Lord, let me preface this, y'all. <laughs> Don't watch this if you're holier than thou, okay? Because yeah. he is cussing every every second <laughs> word. But this stand-up David Arnold did called Fat Ballerina is uh-huh. so funny. Like, side-busting funny. <laughs> so if you're looking, for, we all need a good laugh right about yeah. now. That is why I picked it because I felt like it would be something that people could really go and and anybody is going to find something in this yeah. stand up to laugh at. I promise you. So those are my picks. Okay. Okay. So mine are um, both on Netflix. Mm-hmm. The first one, 
while it's kind of a low budget movie, I love the storyline. Okay. Um, there will be a few actors in, in <laughs> the movie that you're going to say, why is he on or she on this? But if you can get past that part, it's a really good movie. And I, I really appreciated the movie. Um, I won't get into, well, okay. So the name of the movie is Freshman Year. Mm -hmm. And it's about um, a young man who grew up in the church. His father's a pastor. He um, goes to college for his freshman year. I won't give up the rest of the plot of the story, but um, you would just have to see. He he grew up in the church, so kind of had a bit of a sheltered uh, mm -hmm. upbringing. Mm -hmm. and so when he gets to college, he has to navigate you know, all these other factors of being in college. So mm -hmm. it was a, it was a really good story. Okay. My second one, <clears throat> you okay. talked about humor in a time like this. Yeah. So Dave Chappelle, while it's oh. not a stand-up. It's my boy. It don't even matter. He's funny. He Dave matter. Chappelle was honored at the Kennedy Center. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. um, with the Mark Twain Prize for yes. American Humor. Uh huh. So they showed it kind of in like a documentary. Yeah, I uh, saw that. I hadn't watched it yet, though. Yeah, yeah it, it's it's pretty good. If you're a fan okay. of Dave Chappelle, you'll love it. Yes. But he yes. has so many okay. people in there. So many people talking about um, just his effect on comedy. Yeah. And it, it was good to see. Okay. You know. Good that they're appreciating him. Like you know what I mean. Right. He got so much backlash about choices he made for himself that I'm like, right. wait, what? Because none of that yeah. had anything to do with his ability. So, right. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. All yes. right. Yeah. Well, we so we hope that helps. One. We hope right. that helps, y'all. <laughs> and listen, before we go, we had this conversation yesterday. Remember I told you, I said, I don't know, I must be a dude, but in a woman's body. Oh, yes, Lord. I like sports and cars. <laughs> and cars. Okay? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> It's all I mean, good though. You know what? Now I didn't even think about that because we were talking about old school cars. Yeah. Was that the show that you saw the old school car on? Uh huh. That 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 they uh, wrapped that, that chrome okay. wrap. Yeah, yeah. They chrome wrap the six. It was a '67 Thunderbird. Yes. They chopped the top and they chrome wrapped that thing. It looked yeah. like a bullet going down the street. It was so bad, and it had red. Right. Oh my gosh! It was we, so. Woo. We talked about what was supposed to be my uh, first car. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jared. That's right. Oh, no. It was stolen oh. before I got my license. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm so sorry that happened. That's funny. I, oh, I, my I FaceTimed my father earlier. I got to ask him about that. Yeah. Did they ever find the car there? Like, whatever happened. Right. Did they strip it down? Did they, they strip it down? Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay. Yeah. Oh, all right. I'm sorry. I just had to put that out. Oh, no, no, no. no. That's okay. Like, listen. Because <laughs> I, 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 somebody could be like, dang, she like car. I do. Yes. <laughs> Mind your business. <laughs> <laughs> but, all right. Yeah, we, we, uh, we thank you guys so much for continuing to listen. We re would really, really appreciate it. Like, um, we put out an audio version of the podcast on Friday, but the following Monday through Thursday, <clears throat> we segment the show and put it out on YouTube. So if you can go to our YouTube channel, Feel to the Real, and subscribe, check it subscribe, out. Subscribe, 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 right. subscribe. Subscribe, watch, yeah. like, yeah. comment, yeah. and just interact. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah. And, so those and thank you, you to all of those people who who have graciously accepted our requests on Instagram to right. follow us on our new IG page. Thank right. you. Yeah, thank you because uh, we went through and was <laughs> not we, not we, Jared, not we, Jared. Well, we, it's always collective. <laughs> it's always. <laughs> but yeah, we we just we really appreciate we appreciate you guys so much. Um, yeah. we feel the love. Yeah. Um, and we see you guys connecting with it. We also want other people, like, we want you guys to, like, interact. So, um, yeah, just, you know, keep 
keep watching this, keep showing love. So, yeah. So you got to tell them where they got to show love. Where they oh, where yes. Because yeah. mm-hmm. right, so everything's new. Our so. new, uh, our new uh, Twitter page is Feel the Number Two, The Real Podcast. That's on Twitter. IG is at Feel the Number Two, The Real Podcast. Um, the YouTube page is the same. It's Feel to the Real. You can go there, you see stuff from this past podcast all the way back to some of the first time we started uh, yeah. recording. Recording, yeah. Um, and our Gmail email account is filled, the number two, the real at gmail.com. So yeah. connect with us, guys. You know what I'm saying? Let us know how we're doing. Let us know. Yeah. Um, what you think about the changes? Like we said, yeah. um, we're growing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And we appreciate you guys growing with us. Like, <laughs> y'all don't guys, you guys are growing up with us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so next week, I think we'll be able to share more yeah. about the growth that's happening. Right. So uh, we'll have a special guest, I believe. So um, he's a, he's an old friend of the show, but he's yeah. special nonetheless. Right. Um, if you guys have been watching. Yeah. With, you know, with us over the years, you, you've certainly seen it before, but yeah, um, we'll wait to, <laughs> we'll wait to. Again, we just, we keep dangling carrots at y'all no, like, sorry, yeah, yeah. hopefully it, it, okay. it makes y'all come back. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I pray it doesn't right. catch that face for me. You know how YouTube does. Right. Listen. <laughs> and and I just been like, Lord, every time I make one, I have to catch myself. I'm like, oh well, it's too late now. Right. <laughs> it is what it is. I just have an uh, expressive face. Whatever. Yeah. All right. All right, y'all. Thank y'all. Peace. Now put the cameras on me. 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 Put the